Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you our very first Wi-Fi battle using the brand new Citra program. It looks amazing, beautiful. This time we're battling one of my really, really good friends, Dench B. Dench B uh, just picked up the game. He doesn't know too much about the meta right now. He picked up six Ultra Beasts. <laughs> uh, this is a team he actually gen for somebody else, but we're going to get right into the game. Um, okay, so as you can see, I'm using my Torcat team. I actually really, really, really like Torquette. He actually has um, 30, I think 30 base speed faster than Incineroar with base 85 attack. So I'm running Choice Bandit Torquette. So my team, my game plan is set up my rocks because I don't think his only rabbit spinner was Faramosa. So um, yeah, I wanted to set up my rocks right away to support the Torquette sweep in the end because that's the goal that I'm going for. He has Necrophile. This is actually a... <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Tom Sidon, but that's that's the kind of thing. That's the team he gen for. I'm going right into Wendy. Um, I actually thought my Wendy had defog. <laughs> I need you guys to know that it was like almost 1 a.m. when I was battling. So this this Pokemon actually has um, the taunt calm mindset. I actually brought it up predicting a Thunder Wave, but I thought I had defog, so I was like two birds one stone. Wasn't the case. So you're gonna see me a hard switch here into Scizor because I want to get a defog off because he got up his rocks too which was kind of irritating for me because my Torcat takes a lot of damage from rocks and you know, Torcat's my baby girl. Um, but anyways, okay, so here we go. Now I'm gonna go for U-turn here because it's super effective after I Mega Evolve. Uh, he actually switches out, predicting me to do that. Um, <laughs> this is, I'm like stunned by how pretty this stuff looks, guys. It looks so nice. I'm gonna work on like changing the backgrounds, backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, I knew this thing is probably packing the flamethrower, so I'm going to defog first, of course, and I'm going to go ahead and U-turn after this. Most of the time, Scizor outspeeds his Pokemon if he's, um, unless he's fast. If he's offensive, I could have taken a chunk, but because I am a Scizor, <laughs> I don't take that much damage. Um, so I'm predicting to have flamethrower here, but at the same time, I don't think he'd go for it turn one because it's obvious I'm going to switch out because it's very, because it's very obvious that, you know, you'd predict, you'd predict the, uh, Scizor's switch if anything. I'm just defog here, um, get rid of the rocks on the side of the field, try to get mine back up later, and he's actually just going to, what does he do? Um, Leech Seed, okay, Leech Seed is kind of annoying, which is why I still have the U-turn, so he tried to catch my switch with the with the Leech Seed, which is fine, um, my commentary is so like weird right now, because I'm so tired, um, it's just interesting because what I have to do is I have to record it and then I have to speed up the whole battle because my computer can only handle so much so that's why you're gonna see like random things go fast and random things go slow uh, I tried to limit it to 30 FPS but this is the best I could do but I really really wanted to upload with Citra so I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn here get up out of here and go into what did I go into? God, I was really tired when I had this battle. I should have probably did a practice round. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to my Magazone to trap this Pokemon. Now, as you can see, <laughs> Citra's still kind of bugging. All my shines, like, turn white for whatever reason. I'm actually surprised he didn't just flamethrower there because he knew I was, like, staying in, but... But that's fine. Like, flamethrower doesn't do a KO Magazone, I believe. Here, I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt because I want to kill this thing. This thing's actually a threat to all teams everywhere. So, <laughs> if you guys aren't using Magnazone right now and your team is a little bit Celestilo weak, run the Magnazone. So Thunderbolt, Magnazone, you can run Scarf, you can run Specs, you can run whatever. As you can see, I'm going to eat up this flamethrower. I think it does, like, what was it, like 40%? Oh, it did a lot more than I thought it did. Never mind, it did about 60%. But that's fine because I still outspeed and he can't switch out. So, the Celestilo is dead. And my Magnazone has done its job for the whole game. It got the cell steel like cell steel's defense is kind of wild and i'm gonna take a lot of recoil damage if i use flare blitz on it so i just want to get rid of it now while i can he still has a couple other pokemon i can flare blitz uh, mainly the um bus wool so he goes in the zerka tree now i'm just like nope i lose because <laughs> zerka tree is here zerka tree is freaking ridiculously strong i'm gonna go <laughs> into my my scissor here because it's max spadef almost he's just gonna volt switch um, which is fine. Like, I'm gonna take a huge chunk there, though, and I'm gonna have to keep this thing at a relatively high XP so I don't lose this game. But he goes straight into Rapunzel, and I'm, I'm just like, oh, nope, something's gonna die again. So I'm just gonna pull a punch here just to sack off my, um, Scizor, because there's no way in hell I'm going to let any of my other Pokemon on my team die, because they're all very, very, very important. High Jump Kick is ridiculous. Did you see that? Did you see that? 
had to figure out how to limit this to move a little bit slower so like high jump kick doesn't look that fast so i still work in progress guys but you, you you'll see you'll see this is going to be beautiful by the time i figure, figure it all out but greninja's here i'm just going to try to knock this thing out with my water shuriken if you guys aren't running water shuriken on your greninja whether in battle whether in the um Poke Bank or regular standard, it's so good. It's so good right now. Because if you guys don't know, whenever you become Greninja, I just learned this today. Whenever you become a uh, Ash Greninja, your Water Shuriken always hits three times and gets increased damage from 15 to 20. So it become essentially a 60 base power move with three chances to crit and has the ability to break substitutes. And with stab, that's 90. It's a very, very powerful attack for something that's priority. And as fast as you are, you pretty much use it to completely destroy things like Faramosa. Now this thing, I'm hoping it tanks a Thunderbolt because I do resist. And is he gonna tank a Thunderbolt? Nope. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just like, oh God, I'm gonna lose. Because <laughs> this thing, I'm afraid of it being scarfed. If it's scarfed, it actually, it actually sweeps my team. So what I'm going to have to go into is Heartless, because I know I can tank one, and I just want to get off a of Psychic, just so I can go back into Greninja and knock it out with a Water Shuriken. So he's on the Thunderbolt here. I'm going to be able to tank one, but I'm going to let him knock out my Heartless with the second one, just so I can get off my Psychic damage. Uh, Heartless is actually very, very strong. It got, it's got like almost base 130 special attack, so even uninvested, you're doing mad damage with a Psychic. I'm going to get some leftovers back here. It's unfortunate that I don't get my rocks this game because rocks are super helpful. But uh, you got to take what you got to take. So with Thunderbolt here, he's going to knock me out. Now he's at plus two. I have to go straight into my Greninja and go for Water Shuriken. I don't really have a choice. Otherwise, Greninja is too important. Oh, um, this thing is too much of a threat. And Greninja is just going to chunk anything that wants to come in anyways. Because I believe he has a uh, Kartana in the back. Kartana has like zero spadef. So Kartana will always take a chunk of damage from a special hit. Um, he has the Jellyfish thing. Nihiligo in the back also. Which is once again a rock type. Um, Buswell, which doesn't have that much spadef. Although its HP is pretty decent. So it could probably tank a couple hits. And um, this thing. This is the thing I thought he was going to switch into. Because uh, this thing can actually do... Uh, do <laughs> do a problem to, uh do a bit to me but i actually am a choice specs uh ash greninja because specs ash greninja doesn't let things live <laughs> and having specs uh, priority is really 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 nice uh, i'm going back into the thing to stop any more thunder waves because i want to keep my team from being paralyzed because speed's very important and he got up his rocks and now those rocks are here to stay because i already lost my scissor here i'm just going to weaken this thing because this thing's actually a threat to my team so i'm just going to go for moonblast and scalds I believe I go for Moonblast because it's like my best play. Because I can also go for special attack drops, and special attack drops will make my Pokemon survive just a bit longer. Um, and I do get the special attack drop for turn one, which is very, very lucky on my part. Because now the Psychic will not kill me. And I can just go for another Moonblast here. Um, here, he believes he's safe to switch in to his, I believe, his Kartana. Because Kartana does Oko, my Wendy. Uh, and it is a Steel type, so it does resist the Moonblast. <laughs> So he does switch out. I believe he goes into Kartana. Am I wrong? Yes, he does. Paper cut. That is my nickname for Kartana. That one in Zoro. But Moonblast, look at this. This thing has actually no spadef. A resisted Moonblast does <laughs> over 50% to a Kartana. That's ridiculous. But here, I don't really have a choice. I have to let him knock me out. I'm afraid of him being choice scarfed again. Choice scarf could be actually a problem. So I'm just going to let him knock me out here just so I can go hard into Greninja and hit it with another Water Shuriken. Because Water Shuriken on, on a choice specs Ash Greninja is actually busted. But I ended up tanking. So that was nice. Uh, that kind of tells me that he probably is scarf though. Or that doesn't really tell me much to be honest. Uh, I did knock him out. So that thing is a non-issue even though i had lots of pokemon to take care of it it is a non-issue and i'm just like man i just want to go into Torquette. can i please just go and bus whore i hate i hate these nicknames damn it tom don't have these bad nicknames anymore but he goes in this pokemon i am gonna let him knock me out leech life with that clean animation look at that bite yeah delicious that's such a cool animation but that takes out my wendy which is unfortunate by the way somebody mentioned in the comments below to name that pokemon juvia i'm a freaking idiot i should have named that pokemon juvia it's just that i saw purple and i didn't see blue but juvia is a perfect name it's literally a water fairy but tora cat is here nice and shiny called her riskers i love cats <laughs> we're just gonna click flare blitz here watch this thing just drop he's gonna double into the necrophile the Necrozama, Necrozama. This thing is probably very bulky. Like I'm imagining this thing to be max HP, max defense, because that's what you usually run on this Pokemon. Look at that. <laughs> 
and we get the burn. Torcat is doing the most right now. He's Rocky Helmet though, so he's definitely max HP, max defense, because that burn, that, that uh, Flare Blitz actually did a lot less than I thought I was going to do, but I know I'm not dying to another one. Torcat is coming back in. Choice Banded Flare Blitz. Let's hit him up. hi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the move animations, whenever like they take up the whole screen, it increases frames. So whenever I like fast forward this whole thing, that part seems a lot faster because it's normal speed for whatever reason. But bus war comes in. This thing is going to <laughs> this thing. <sighs> Is this thing gonna tank? Let's see if this thing tanks. Flare Blitz, Choice Banded Torget, faster than this thing because I'm speed invested. Boom, hit him up, and Bus War falls to the ground, falls to its knees, just like the Bus War he is. <laughs> I like how it flexes before it faints. Torcat, you may have gone down, but you have won us this game. I love using Torcat, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like if you haven't already. If you wanna battle me, hit me up on Twitter. That's the best place to battle me. You can always message me asking for a battle and I'll let you know whenever I'm free. Um, uh, if this video hits, I wanna say, let's, let's say, let's go, let's go for 20 likes. If this video hits 20 likes, I will give away a copy of this team. I do have all these teams in the back, ready to be given away. I do like giving away my teams to people. So I'll, if you guys drop a like and a comment, I'll give one random commenter um, the team and I'll announce it in the next video who the winner was. So be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. Comment down below what Pokemon you wanna see me use because I am team building hella tonight. <laughs> I'm building so many teams tonight. So let me know what Pokemon you want me to use. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.